These children and the infants are learning about Jewish family life, and this lesson helps them to explore questions about Shabbat. They learn a lot about Judaism, but it's good RE too because they reflect for themselves. What's the key to effective learning? Not writing, or even the artifacts. It's preparation, so that each activity deepens the learning as the lesson unfolds. Toby. They're going to celebrate Shabbat. You think they're going to celebrate Shabbat? What is Shabbat, Toby? It's a special celebration uh, on Friday and Saturday when uh, Jewish people have a rest. What's the day of rest all about, Jack? Because God made the world in six days, which um, Jews and Christians <laughs> believe. And um, he made it in six days, and then on the seventh day, he rested. Seth? Because the first rule um, that God made when Moses was on the hill was to have a day of rest. Uh -huh, that's right. You've had a, quite a good look at them, and what I'm going to do so I'm going to cover them up and I'm going to give you all, or Mrs Crook and I will give you all, a one whiteboard between two people. See if you can write down everything that was on that cloth before I covered it up. What can you remember was on that cloth? Well done. Wow, I can see some people. Lots of ideas. Finish whatever you were writing or drawing. Put your lids on your pens and then let's have a look and see what you've got. Have a look and match it to your list. Did you remember everything? There are four objects on the cloth which are not essential for Shabbat. You don't have to have jam, cranberry juice, sugar or a spoon. The children identified what is essential and took away what was extra. So what's this? The spice box, yes, the spice box. Which one is our spice box, Liam? Can you put it on for us? What does this one say? Challa loaf. Yes, now you can say challa loaf, but in challa, that's right, challa, challa loaf. Okay, Katia, would you like to put the, by the challa loaf? Shabbat candlesticks and candles. All right, can you see where those are? Okay, can you put those down then? Thank you. And this one. <laughs> Billy? Kiddush cup and plate. Kiddush cup and plate. Do you want to put it down for me? And then I've got Shabbat there. Those are the objects that are used in Shabbat. On that, will you open that, Evie? And then you need to read out what it says for me. Feel the tension as the learning challenge is introduced. Hold it up to everybody. Dear girl class, please would you make a Shabbat kit for other children to use to learn about Shabbat. Please include instructions on how to use the objects. Thank you. No problem. This is Lyle. This is Lyle. This is Lyle. I've written you a letter. Yes, thank you. You hold it up so people can see. So I wondered if you could make a Shabbat kit for me. <gasps> Could you do that? Yes. What objects do we need to make? Toby. Bread. We need to make some bread. bread. Joshua. A spice box. And a Jamie. Spice. Candles. Some candles. <laughs> Owen. Uh, a candle. Which one? Mm -hmm. the, the plated candle. Yes, good boy. The plated <coughs> candle. Jack. We need to make the, um, the cover. Yes, we need to make the hollow cover because at the beginning that's covering the bread. Evie? Um, we could make the goblet. The cup, yes, the kiddush I cup. The, the plate. Yes, and the plate as well for the bread. Okay, anything else? We need to anything make some words. We need to make some words, Lara. That's absolutely right. Which, the which, names. The names, yes, because why do we need to have the words? Because otherwise they won't know, they'll just say it normally, that, the normally. They, yes. So they won't use the proper, the proper name, that's absolutely right, good girl, well done. So do you think you could write the instructions for that? When do you light the Havdalah candle? When? You tell me, when is it? 
you like to have Dalla candle at the beginning of Shabbat or the end of Shabbat? At the end. Do you think you can tell that so that other children will know? So you're going to have a go at plaiting then. All right. It looks to me... Now, doesn't this look interesting? Can you see? I was looking at it that way. So which way do you think they've actually started it? They've done it that way. Here, good RE makes Jewish practice memorable. The activities link RE very well with speaking and listening and with art and design. Teamwork in pupil groups builds up whole class learning. Younger classes are the audience for the lovely exhibits that the children make.